Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, we are diving into the world of cloud security with a great tool called Scout Suite. If you're managing cloud infrastructure or you're just curious about keeping your cloud environment secure, then this video is for you. What exactly is Scout Suite? Well, Scout Suite is an awesome open source tool that allows you to check the security of your cloud environment. It supports major platforms like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and they're adding more. Most of these are still within a alpha phase. But think of Scout Suite as a scanner for your cloud setup. So it helps you find potential weaknesses and gives you a report on how to fix them. Scout Suite, of course, can be ran as a standalone tool, which there's instructions within their GitHub repo, which I'll also link in the description below. However, we have also built this directly into Copilot. So you can actually run your Scout Suite scans directly within Copilot. Stick around and we'll jump into it. How does Scout Suite exactly work? There is a prereq that we'll need to do within your cloud environment to allow Scout Suite to authenticate with whatever cloud provider you're currently using. In this video, I'm going to be using AWS because that is where I have some infrastructure. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any infrastructure within Azure or Google Cloud. So if any of you guys are interested in helping me test out integrating, uh, running Azure and Google Cloud scans directly within Copilot, it would be much appreciated because as of now, these two scans are disabled from being ran within Copilot. So if you do have Azure or Google Cloud presence and don't mind helping us out, Again, it would be much appreciated and then we'd be able to add uh, these feature scans to run within Copilot as well. Scout Suite is going to work by actually authenticating with your cloud provider. So to do so, it's going to be taking advantage of APIs. And for example, with AWS, if you go to their wiki, wiki I'll link to their wiki in the description below as well for this particular AWS document. If you scroll down to the bottom here, they have a permissions where these are the policies that you need to attach to the, the Scout Suite user to grant the necessary permissions to actually run the scan. And they actually do give you the uh, JSON blob as well that you can just copy and paste directly into AWS when you're creating the user that you'll use for the Scout Suite scans. Prior to actually running Scout Suite directly within Copilot, you will need to make sure that you create a user account with these permissions. And they also have the same for Azure as well. If you select Azure, you'll see the, the permissions uh, header that you have here and the same for Google Cloud. Again, unfortunately, since I don't have uh, Google Cloud or Azure presence, uh, I have not been able to test these efficiently. So we have not included these in the release within Copilot. And if anyone's willing to help out, it would be much appreciated. You can just reach out to me on Discord or uh, shoot me an email, which is also in the description below. Once I've got my uh, credentials set up, I'll be ready to run a scan. So directly within Copilot on the overview page here, you'll see a new button for cloud security assessment. If you haven't ran a scan prior, then of course you won't have any reports here. We will collect create new report. So when I select the create new report, we'll get our new module that comes up where we'll select our type. As you can see here, AWS is the only one we have enabled. We don't have Azure or Google Cloud enabled because I just can't test it yet. And if anyone wants to help out, much appreciated. So I'm going to now set a report name. Please subscribe. This can be any report name that you want. Now I'm going to implement my access key and my secret key. So once I've created my AWS user and I've given the appropriate permissions to that user, I will then generate an access and secret key for that user, which I will then use to put directly into Scout Suite, which we will use for Scout Suite to be able to authenticate with the cloud provider. Here, I'm gonna implement my access key, and then I'm also going to throw in my secret, and I'm going to hit submit. Now, what this is gonna run the report generation within the background. This will take a few minutes to complete, um, and you can also uh, tail the logs of the Copilot container to see when that report has been generated. Um, depending on how big your environment is, it'll vary on how long the report actually takes. My presence isn't huge because I can't afford a massive AWS bill. So it 
takes my reporting about two minutes or so to, to run. Once you've kicked off the report and it's running in the background, you can always hit refresh. And when the report is done, you will see it listed uh, within our window that we have here. So I'll wait a few more minutes for the for my report that I just kicked off to finish, and then we'll be able to view the report that was created directly within Copilot. So it looks like my report has been completed. So once I subscribe, you'll see now that we have our report name followed by .html. So what I can do is select this report and it's going to open a separate tab within my browser here. Now here is where we get our generated Scout Suite report. What exactly is being detailed here? Well, Scout Suite is going to check, for example, storage if storage buckets are publicly accessible, if databases that are being used are properly secure, if cloud accounts have strong policies in place, and it categorizes your um, findings based on the AWS service. Let's look at my one EC2 instance that I have. So if I select my EC2, here we see all of the checks that were ran for the EC2 service. And here we can see, uh-oh, we have a SSH port that is open to all. So if I select this particular finding, we can get all the meta details as to where this was actually found. And also if the group is in use or not. If we go back to our dashboard and Let's look at CloudTrail. So here we're getting an alert just because CloudTrail service is not configured, which if you are heavily implementing AWS, then CloudTrail is of course recommended as it keeps track of everything within your cloud environment. But like with everything with these cloud providers, you of course are going to pay for it. <laughs> um, we can also check out our IAM rule. So here we, oh, we're not doing very good here. We have users without MFA. So if I select that, we can see my two user accounts here that have multi-factor not set to be enabled. We can easily see what users are potentially that don't have the best security policies in place for their accounts. We see passwords are not set to expire after 90 days and so on and so forth. If I go to my S3, let's see what we got with S3. So we got some access logging disabled here for some images that we host. We can see they're accessible to everyone. And as you can see, I'm not taking advantage of all of these AWS services. Scout Suite is an awesome tool that allows you to quickly run security scans against your cloud environment. Of course, cloud environments are awesome just because of how accessible they are, how easily it is to spin up servers and various services. But with how easy it is, it can also be as easy to implement improper security posture. So Scout Suite is like constantly having an expert monitor your cloud infrastructure to help you identify security risk quickly. It gives you detailed reports. You can also export these reports. If I'm an MSP and I'm monitoring a client's uh, cloud infrastructure, here you can get a quick report um, that you can share with your customer. And of course, you know, once you export this data, you can clean it up and prettyfy it any way um, that you would like prior to sharing that with your client. So I'm a big fan of Scout Suite and I'm excited to, to say that we have been able to actually implement this feature directly into Copilot, helping us meet our goal as Copilot being the kind of universal open source uh, security tool. Again, if any of you guys are interested in helping us out with the Azure and Google Cloud integration within Scout Suite so we can actually go ahead and enable these and properly test, that would be much appreciated. You can either reach out to me on Discord or uh, my email down below. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one.